my laptop or my internet connection is being stupid. I've done this video. I got to eight minutes and it quit. It said something went wrong. Connection error. I had to restart it. So again, I've had so much problem with YouTube today. Please, I'm not in a good mood right now. If I swear, oops. Unsubscribe. Go away. I don't feel like messing with you people right now. Um, this is my tips for surviving high school. I mean, middle school. Middle school. I'm going into high school now. So, yeah. At my school, it goes from 6th to 8th grade is middle school. And 6th, 7th, 8th. Through. And when you come into middle school, you're basically blind. You don't know the people that you... Because when you were in elementary school, you were in 2nd. Well, no, third, while the, all, all the other ones were in fifth. And right when you got into fourth, because it went, kindergarten was in one building, first, second was in another building, third was in another, and fourth and fifth was in another. So basically, when you were in third, they, and the people were in fifth, when you went to fourth, they went into middle school. So basically, you didn't know anybody when you went to middle school. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah. Uh, you basically went in blind. Hoping that people do not hate you, and trust me, trust me, buddy, I have my fair share of haters, but I went in there, 10%, not myself, very quiet, very timid, didn't talk out, didn't do anything. Seventh grade, I blew up. I mean, I was just like, talking, 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 making friends, making people, you know, whatever, whatever, hey, hey, how are you? I, you could not shut me up, because finally... Those ones that were assholes that were eighth grade that I didn't know, they left, and I knew the people ahead, and I was really close to them. So I opened up right around them. But I'm going to label them what not to do and what to do in middle school. I'm going to start off, start off with what to do. Uh, just be yourself. I cannot say this enough. Like I've seen in other video, you're not gonna know these people. About twenty percent of the time, you don't you're not you don't stay friends with the people that you're friends with in middle school or high school. You all go in your separate directions, so you know what? Who the hell cares what they think of you? You're not gonna deal with them for that long. Technically, you only deal with them for seven years. That ain't that long actually, considering you live to be about sixty. So that's a long time. So you only deal with them for seven years, that's not a lot. So just be yourself. If they don't like you, they don't like you. They'll get over it sooner or later. Um, if you talk like I talk, I sound gay, but you knew my background, you know I'm not gay. You don't want to know my background. <laughs> it's crazy. I sound like a little whore. I've had 14 girlfriends, and that's stopping because if my aunt or my mother's watching this, they will kill me. But anyway... If you sound like me or you talk gay and you know what you are and how you are and people still say it, you know what? Let them say it. I'm at this point where if someone calls me gay, I don't even flinch. Like, yeah, thanks. And I, I walk away. I just, I, I could give a flying, I remember the last in fifth grade, I would just get so pissed. I'd start throwing chairs. It was crazy. One kid, literally, my seventh grade year was horrible. I got hit with a chair, and I flipped. I got up, and I tried to push the kid out the window. And we were on the second floor. So, not the point. Be yourself. Number two. Please, for the love of God, walk on the right side of the hallway. It's just like a road. You can't just walk wherever you feel. If there's people coming at you, you cannot just cut in front of them. You have to, like, say, you're going down the hallway, and you're right here, and you want to turn up this door that's over here, and there's people coming. You have to stop and wait for them to get to go before it looks like a whole bunch of car crashes. Wait for them to go, like, for an opening before you can turn. It's almost like driving. You cannot just go, move out of my way. God, no, please, just, just obey the laws. Obey the hallway wall. Uh, number Four, bring plenty of water. On my sixth grade, because upperclassmen, which eighth grade, seventh, sixth, it went upperclassmen, like up, up, up with the top people, 
were 8th, then it went 7th, then it went 6th. 8th had lunch first, and then it went 7th, 6th. 8th had their, 8th grade had their lunch at 11. 7th had theirs at 12. And 6th didn't have theirs until 1. So bring us, oh, I don't know, like that's for the next one. Bring water, you're gonna get parched, and you, want, you don't wanna drink that nasty city water. I know I did it. I don't have any with me right now, but number, I don't know. Whatever number this is. Bring hand sanitizer. Oh my god. People at that school, at least at mine, were disgusting. They would, one guy literally shit on the wall. He didn't care. He had no standards. He took his poop and he put it in his hand and he drew on the wall. It was nasty. Then he, he had D, which diarrhea. He threw it at the way. Oh my god, it was horrible. But bring hand sanitizer. He don't need it. But the, the same guy had no standards. He was in the the assistant principal, which is like the guy you don't want to be at like when you're in trouble. You're there. He took a shit in the guy's office. It, 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 it was the first, second, third floor. Oh my god, that was horrible. People were walking down like this because they thought they were going, I was like, look like a terrorist. But they, they were just dying because of the stench. It was bad. So, Frank has that hazard. And believe it or not, and bring your keys. God, bring your keys. You'll need them. You're going to need them for getting home. I have like a checklist, and I do, on my whiteboard over here. Yeah, you see it. Every, when school starts, I get to make a checklist. Checklist in the morning. Phone. Keys. You know, did I put on my body spray and my deodorant? I brush my teeth. And I have to check that off. Do I got my beanie? Do I got my keys? Glasses, pencils, papers. I gotta go through. I gotta check that off because last the year before that, I lost everything. I would just forget it. It's horrible. Now before my video decides to cut out again at eight minutes, because it's like seven minutes and thirty seconds now. Let's go on. So one thing not to do: do not flaunt to an upperclassman. I already described this in the last video that I tried to make, but it cut out. I knew this kid. I'm not going to say his name, but it wasn't me. I swear to God. I was an 8th grader, and he was a 6th grader. He had just, It was like the third day. And third day, we start changing. And he was in the stall, and he had boxer briefs on. And you seen him stuffing it. Like, stuffing himself, like, putting socks down there. At least I seen it. And I whispered to my friend. My friend at the time. I hate him now, Billy. I'm like, look what Blank's doing. Because I knew his name. And he's like, what is he doing? I said, he's stuffing socks down in his crotch. He's like, you know what that means? I'm like, yeah, small penis. And he's like, huh, I bet she's going to flaunt, sure enough. He, he went to an upperclassman, which I, I knew the guy. And he was like a real upperclassman. I was a seventh grader at the time. I think I, think I said eighth, but he was a real big guy. Like, he was huge. Like, not, I don't know about that out there, but he was tall. He was like, a, I was six feet, I, know, I was five four or six at the time, and he was way over me, and he went up and said, I got such a big B, it's bigger than yours, and that kid hit the older kid, picked the sixth grader up, threw him on the bench, which the bench has a wall behind it, so he just went, and his legs opened, and the kid, the upperclassman seen the chance, he grabs the kid's boxers, pulls them down, and a sock falls to the floor, and everybody starts laughing, I was just like this the whole time. He did not have what he was saying. I would say it straight up. He had a baby. He was small. But what do you expect? You're a sixth grader. You don't hit puberty yet. You were like 13. So don't flaunt. It's only going to get you in a hole that you don't want to be in. Walk. I already said this. What to do. Okay. I think I already said that. God, I'm so confused. I need to write something like this down. Um, don't get on yourself in class. God, don't. You think you're all sly doing this? First of all, what person sits in their chair like this? Second of all, if you're like this, the whole class, somebody's going to figure it out. I texted three times last year, and I got caught two of the times. And they take your phone. I was like this. 
and I noticed that I was crooked, so I straightened up, looked down every once in a while, and then the teacher knows what you can't see, and I'll put the camera down. It's my arms were over here like this. So, he knew something was wrong, so he walked over, sort of, was texting on my, uh, at this time I had a Blackberry. He's like, he took it. I forgot to take the battery out. God, take the battery out of your phone. They will go through your phone. I watched my friend. She got her phone taken away. The principal was scrolling through her text messages as he walked down the hall. <sighs> Don't text. Put your phone on silent. What not to do? Nothing to do, actually. I'll say what to do. Wear deodorant. You're not used to it. But... When I was in sixth grade and I first started puberty, I was just sitting there one day and I smelled something. I'm like, who the fuck is stinking in this place? And sure enough, it was me. I'm like, oh, I close everything. You know, like how a girl closes her legs and everything whenever they say, like, this light. Um, I closed everything. My mouth, my arms, everything. And I went home and I bought deodorant and I never had that problem again. But wear deodorant and body spray. Here's what I wear. Ooh, stupid freaking thing. Stupid damn chair. Okay. I wear okay. Degree Men and Playboy New York. So, that's what I wear. And I wear it every day. That's why I have a checklist. Okay. Bring a snack. Bring chips. Pop. Something. Just bring it. Because you will get hungry sooner or later, and it will not be fun to sit there starving in class. And you not being able to eat. It's crazy. Most schools don't have any machines. Ours did, but we weren't allowed to do it. Which makes no sense. I guess you're for sporting events. Oh, another locker room one. Don't wear tidy whities Oh my god, don't. And don't leave your clothes out. This kid, and I'm going to tell you this, but I'm not telling you names. This kid I know, he was in my grade. He moved because of this. The guy took him. And this guy's arrested, so don't... He got charged, all this crap. This guy was... He was tidy whities all this crap. And an upperclassman, which is in my grade, and right now he don't go here no more. He had to move because they were both in my same grade. But they both moved because they had such bad reputation after this. The guy took the other guy, slammed him in the head, punched him in the head, and he went down, got knocked out, came to two, like two minutes later, and the guy had his, you know what, out, and made the other guy, yeah. We were all so shocked, we just stood there, and the guy just sat there, and one of us tried to run, and one, he pulled out a knife, a butcher knife, like this big, it was crazy. And he held it up to the guy's neck and said, if you ever effing tell anybody, I will come slit your throat. That came up to all of us and did this. So, the guy didn't think about this. Of course, somebody's going to tell. And the guy's not disclosed. I'm so happy. It wasn't me. Oh, my God, no. I'm not that stupid. I'm sorry, but I would never do that. Oh, my God, no. I don't want to die. So... No, I'm sorry that you had to go out down and do that, but, uh-uh. Some guy told the cops, and the cops came to the school and questioned all of us, and said what happened, and I told him the truth. I had to. I'm not going to let this poor boy suffer. The guy was arrested that did it, found the knife, all that crap. He was sentenced to, like, 30 days in juvie, in, like, four hours of community service. So he got what he deserved. So... Don't wear tidy whities. And another kid, same upperclassman, that was before he made the guy sick as you know what. But the other guy, same guy, different guy that was, okay, the same guy who made the other one get down and do that, well, it was a different boy, but the boy changed and he was completely naked. Because some of us are stupid enough and not me, no, to change our underwear to. Yeah. Who is it? No worries. He just called. Uh, okay. She can wait. Um. 
he took, he changed, and he changes from where he was butt ass naked, and he liked to walk through the freaking thing and saw everything. So finally, the, one of the upperclassmen got pissed at it because he was like seventh grade and we were eighth. That he took his clothes and he hit him. So there's the boy, stark ass naked, in the middle of a gym in the locker room, and he knew sooner later the gym teacher was come looking for him. So he just sat there. He found a he got his book bag and he covered his front and he just sat there. Finally, the gym teacher went in and he told what happened. And the gym teacher came out and started screaming at us to tell who took it. And I wasn't one of them. Someone like did that and pointed. The guy got suspended because that's just the boy came out in his um. Uh, like, the boy came out in his underwear and started fucking flipping. He was so pissed he didn't even have time to get his you know, shorts on. That's how bad it was. Uh, uh, stay organized. That's my last tip. Stay organized. I wish somebody would have told me this. These tips. Before I went to middle school. My middle school career would have been so much more easier. I'm not... I'm not an unpopular person, but I'm not the most popular person on the planet. People don't like me, and the popular people have people I don't like them. It's just a circle of the world. You're going to have haters, sweetheart. You can't do nothing about it. But good luck with middle school. Wish me luck on going to high school. Yeah. And at the end of the year... When I'm about to go into sophomore, I'll do a driving video fight when I get my permit, because I'll get my permit in February. And I'll do a video on my car. So, I don't have it yet. I'm getting it, like, in a couple weeks or months. I don't know. My grandpa's really weird about that. So, good luck with your middle school career. Bye, guys.